Hey guys, and now we're hanging out with another cool animal. What do we got here, Raina? This is Oscar, and Oscar is our opossum. He was a rescue that we got last year. He was an orphan. So uh, he's been a great addition since we got him. He's so friendly, look at him. Oh, look super him. friendly. So friendly. He's Loves hanging all out. over his shoulder. A lot of people really don't like, well, you're, I'm gonna say possums, because that's what I grew <laughs> up with, but a lot of people really don't like uh, opossums mm -hmm. um, because they think they look weird oh, or yeah. creepy or whatever but uh, they actually do a lot of things that help us out um, they're like nature's little sanitation workers so they eat all the dead stuff all the gross stuff that we don't want to look at and then like roadkill and stuff and then uh, they actually scare things away from your garden like rats or mice or cockroaches or um, you know rabbits that mess with your garden and uh, they eat a lot of ticks too. They love ticks. They pull them off their skin, and as we know, you know, ticks carry Lyme disease, which can be, you know, uh, can infect us. So that's another thing they do to help us. So they're actually, they're, you know, they're they're here for a reason. We need them. So how old is Oscar? So Oscar is uh, he's actually a year old. This May he's turning a year old. So he's actually still just a youngster. <laughs> Possum kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Super friendly, such a good, yeah, such a good boy. I mean, see, like, 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 I didn't know that they could be this friendly. Look, I, like, <laughs> now watch him bite me now. <laughs> He's like, screw you, Charles. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> And what was Oscar's story? How did Oscar come here? So, um, some a uh, couple actually, they found Oscar in their yard. He was all by himself. So what we think happened, he was small enough to where he would have been out of, uh, out of his mom's pouch, but he would have been hanging on her back. He wouldn't have left her just yet because he was too small. So we think he must have fell off of her back and she didn't realize and she just kept walking without him. So then the couple eventually found them or found him in their yard and uh, they picked him up and they brought him over to us and we've had him ever since. And awesome. they actually still so, come and so visit him. So that's one thing that the, the guys that they uh. So that's one thing I want to one thing I want to mention is that they actually take in you take in rescue. Oh yes, These yes. are our rescue animals oh, that yes. are here at the Big Run Wolf Ranch. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if anybody you guys are in the Illinois area. Yes. Yeah. Um, in the in the Chicagoland area mm -hmm. to be specific. If anybody finds an animal, what can they do to like you know? So it always depends. You know, if we have the room. Um, you know, obviously like last year we had the room for an opossum, so we took them in. But sometimes you know if people bring us animals, maybe we don't have the room. We can always try to find another facility or maybe another rehabber who would be able to take them in so that way we can help our wildlife so um, Oscar he has a prehensile tail so you can see he's wrapping it around my finger so he'll typically uh, wrap it around tree limbs um, they don't hang from their tail that's a myth their uh, tail's not strong enough to support their body weight because look at him I mean he doesn't miss a meal he's pretty fat so <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, they're typically, and actually what's really cool, uh, opossums take their tail and when they're trying to make a nest, um, they gather sticks and twigs and they wrap their tail around it and that's how they carry it around. Well, Oscar does it a little differently. Oscar has a blankie, so he wraps his tail around his blankie and carries his blankie around. <laughs> oh, so he carries his blankie around Yeah, his tail. just like a little okay. kid, so he's super spoiled. <laughs> and then um, they don't have a very long lifespan. They usually in the wild at most live a year or two years. Um, in captivity, it's only about four years, um, but they've been around for over 70 million years, so whatever they're doing is working for them. <laughs> wow, 70 million, so like one of their earliest? Oh yeah, yeah, they were walking around with uh, one of the dinosaurs or the dinosaurs but yeah and he's uh, North America's only marsupial thank you for showing him <laughs>